Hi, so today I will show you something that my students um, reported to me and that is the missing ad section button. If you're using a Shopify theme like Debut or you know those Shopify themes that is OS 1.0 version, there's a possibility that you won't see the ad section button in the theme editor, specifically in the um, template homepage or index template. So let's check out, I have here a bunch of examples. So here, if you notice, there is no ad section button, right? If you remember in the previous lesson, we used the content for index um, object to display that ad section button. But right now you can see it here. So. Let's start. I'll open the code editor. Make sure that you have your code editor opened and open the templates and then the index.liquid. And in this liquid file, we're using the content for index object, correct? Yet we can't see or we don't have the add section button, which is honestly weird. According to Shopify, with content for index, we should have or we should be able to add sections here but yet it's not working. So how can we fix that? You see, my theory is that Shopify wants to enforce the JSON template um, for Shopify themes. And if you're using liquid files, um, it's not going to work. My theory is that Shopify wants to get rid of the liquid files here in the templates folder. Another theory I have in mind is that the settings data.json inside of the config folder is misconfigured the content for index is misconfigured and this is not working. But honestly, by default, this should be working with the content for index object. And another thing is you shouldn't be touching this or you shouldn't be changing anything here because your Shopify store will just do that on its own. But those are just my theories and I could be wrong. So with that said, let's try to rename the index.liquid to index underscore old. Let's just add underscore old. Let's rename this. And now we don't have the index.liquid. If we reload our theme editor, it should go to 404 template. As you can see, it's saying not found, that's good. So what we need to do next is to create a new template. So in the templates folder, click the add a new template and make sure that you're highlighting or selecting JSON, okay? And then for the select a template to create, we'll use the index. You see here, index, select that. And now we can click done. Once again, make sure it's using index and JSON. So click done and it should create the index.json file. And then in this file, we're going to create a JSON object. So create a set of curly braces. And then in this object, we're going to use three attributes, okay? So for JSON templates, you're going to use at least these three attributes. First is the name. And then you can set this to whatever you want. For example, you can call this index. And then this index is going to be shown here. So here, if you notice, there's the 404 page. In the template index, it's going to say index. So you can change this to home page if you want. Call it whatever you want, it's fine. So the next key or attribute is going to be the sections. And then for this attribute, you're gonna need to pass another object. And then in this object, you can create your sections. So for the first key or attribute, it's going to be your section ID. And you can name this to whatever you want. For example, we can call this template hyphen um, homepage. And then for its value, you're gonna need to provide another object. And then in this object, you need to use the type attribute, okay? So for the type, let's just not cover this for now because for the section IDs, you need to use this in the attribute after the sections. You need to use it in the attribute called order. And this attribute is looking for an array. And then in the array, you're gonna need to use the section IDs. So it's going to be template homepage, create a set of double quotes and use the template homepage section ID, okay? So the next is the type. The type is going to look for a file inside of the sections folder. So open your sections folder, create a new file, make sure that you set it to liquid, and for its file name, you can call the index whatever you want. We'll call it template index, okay? 
click done. And that should create the following file. If you want, you can change the name instead of section name. You can call this index, index template. Okay. You can save this and then we can now go back to the JSON template. And for the type, we can now use the template index section file. So template hyphen index without that liquid. Okay. Don't type the extension file or the file extension, just the file name, template hyphen index. Now, once again, for each JSON templates, you need to at least use the following attributes, the name, the sections, and then the order. And for the name, you can set it to whatever you want. This is going to be shown in the theme editor, specifically here. For the sections, this is where you can render the sections inside of the sections folder. And for the order attribute, this is where you can order the section that you created inside of the sections, okay? So now if we save this and if we go back to the theme editor, if we reload the page, now as you can see, we can add a section, right? So that's how you bring back the add section. And that's the reason why it's also working here in the lean theme. And that is because this theme is already using JSON templates. So if we open the code editor of this theme, you will see that the template files, you would see that the JSON files, they're in JSON. So that's pretty much it. That's how you bring back the add section button. Now, honestly, I saw it coming. I was so sure that um, this is going to happen because of the JSON templates. I'm not sure if Shopify is going to continue with this, if they'll just enforce Shopify developers to use JSON templates instead of Liquid. I'm seeing a lot of changes lately. Honestly, I'm happy that they're making so many changes lately and I'm looking forward to learn more about it. So yeah, if you want to learn more, make sure you check out my Shopify theme development course as well as my Shopify Liquid course. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.